Hey y'all, Grand Rising. Good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you click on this video is the right time for you. And I thank you in advance for your viewership. Now, y'all forgive me for, um, you know, being kind of caught up. I wanted to, you know, get this out the way a few days ago, but Honey, life is life, and, and it is super, super busy for me right now. So today's reading, it's going to be on Krishan Rock, Blueface, Jade and Alexis, better known to the internet as Stewie, and Lil Baby. And we're going to see what the energy is around these four people. Now, what I've been channeling since I said that I was going to tap into this energy and read them is that um, even though Krishan lost a lot and she had to give up a lot to leave, Blueface, his mom, just him and his family in general, they're losing a lot. They're actually losing more than she lost now that she's gone. And sometimes you don't realize how big someone's energy, <clears throat> excuse me, there goes my throat. There we go. Sometimes you don't realize how big someone's energy could possibly be until they step away. This is one of those situations to where, you know, um, somebody doesn't value you until you walk away and they see all the accoutrements leave with you. So we already know Krishan just gave birth to this gorgeous little boy, Krishan Jesus Malone. And this little boy is already popping so hard that his social media presence at, what is he, like a week and a half old? His social media presence, literally, not even two weeks old, is bigger than half of his family already, right? And it is just... Um, it's amazing how things can turn around for you when you let the right things go. But Krishan is going to have to stay strong and learn to let something go forever. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start this reading. Um... I think I'm going to read her energy last. How about that? So first up to the table, Jaden Alexis. Um, what, what deck am I going to use? Jaden Alexis, Jaden Alexis. You know what? I'll go with this one because it's already on the table. Give me the energy of Jade and Alexis. Wow, Blueface is in Baltimore with Krishan Rock. Give me the energy around Jade and Alexis while Blueface is in Baltimore seeing his son with Krishan Rock. Mm, cards are sticking together. See that? Ten of Wands, heavy burden. The weight of the world is on her back. See, she may not ever come before the public and share this or say this, but this situation has her shook, and this is a burden. This baby being born, this whole situation is a burden. And I know people will say, well, you know, that was her man first and this, that, and the other. And let's call her Asa Ace and a spade a spade. This is the same man who said that he slept with 
you know, a thousand or more women. You can't blame Krishan for all of that. Krishan is just one out of that 1,000. But it's interesting. We never heard her say anything about that comment that he made. But this right here shows me out of all of the women that he's dealt with in the 10 years that they've been together, this is the one that brings the house of cards down. Why is this 10 of wands here? Mm, we got the, okay. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the magician, the ace of cups. Hold on. The magician, the ace of cups, the queen of wands in the tower, okay? If you watch me before, you know I don't just read what hits the table. I read as I shuffle. So what that tells me is she feels like um, there's manipulative energy that is at play that causes him to go after this love and abundance with this sought after woman and it brings a tower. But this is also a two-way message because when you see the magician with the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower. That's someone who allegedly could be doing um, love spells, trickery, and manipulation. And see, not all spell work is, you know, lighting candles and playing around with herbs and things of that nature. But she feels like, you know, he would have never gotten with her or been with her if it wasn't for manipulative um i want to say antics and misguided situations but on the other end this is like a a kettle you know a skillet calling the, the kettle black or a kettle calling the the skillet black because there's things that Jaden has done to get her way as well that would be considered manipulative or some form of trickery. Uh, spirit, guys, that's interesting. We still only have one card on the table. Let's dig into that. what it is i read them pieces of my candles fall i don't know if y'all heard that on the camera but sheesh so the devil in reverse wow so pay attention to this couple okay you see how sad this woman is in the background sitting in the bed and this man is sitting here drunk not paying her no mind. He's actually, you know, getting a kick out of her misery. Now, I want you to understand that this hit the table in reverse. That means the woman is in the position that the man is in and the man is in the position that the woman is in. So... What this feels like to me is allegedly, you know, she was sitting up drinking and, you know, laughing and kind of like, um, that's what you get when Blue was going live and he was in his feelings and he was ranting and raving and, you know, sulking around the house. Almost feels like he could have possibly cried. But, you know, she was, you know, drunk, allegedly. Definitely feeling good. And she reveled in this. Not necessarily as she said anything to him about it, but it, it brought some kind of joy to her to see him in misery over Krishan.
Knight of Pentacles. Okay? So, remember I opened this reading with the channel to where when Krishan left, she may have left a lot to leave. But after she left, everybody started losing because she left. This is a card when you're talking about abundance. You're talking about money starts moving at a slower pace. It may still be steady enough to have a stream of income, but it's definitely moving at a slow pace. It's, it's not an abundant season. This is where you have to be mindful of spending. This is where, you know, let's say you have a job to where you have a set amount that you make every month and you have to be careful with how you spend it because once it's gone, it's gone until you get the next check. So literally, this is the check to check card. This is, you know, if I blow my check this month on, you know, whatever lollygagging or whatnot, shit going to be tight into that next check or that next installment. So not saying that, you know, folks just up and broke out of nowhere, but this, this is not abundance, okay? And then the bottom of the deck, you got the king of wands and you see that this is somebody pole vaulting. They, you know, a pole vaulter, you got to, you, you know, get a good running start before you can jump to the other side. Now, my spirit guides are telling me, literally, this was him on the internet jumping to conclusions. And this ain't just him. This was them as a group, just jumping to conclusions, assuming the worst out of a situation. And we saw that, right? But no sooner he got a chance to go, he ran and jumped on the next thing smoking to get to where she was, get to where Krishan was. How did Jaden feel about this? Wow, five of swords. Now, this is where I, I got to look at Jaden sideways because five of swords means that there's conflict in communication. There's arguing, you know, there's very aggressive, harsh communication. So she knew eventually he was going to go and see his son and she felt some type of way. She didn't want him to go see his son. That's his child though. All children, no matter which mother is who, all children deserve the same love, the same care. So it's very selfish of her to feel like he was supposed to just let that other child, you know, the other baby, the other child go by the wayside. But she definitely gave him a lot of lip about going to see his son. I'm, I'm hearing attitude, a lot of attitude. Six of Swords. Yeah, he, he went on victoriously. Regardless of what she said, he went on by his way. So she couldn't persuade him not to go. And look at that. The tower. You see the house burning down? Somebody standing from the outside looking in. The house is burning down. Right now, because he's decided to take the high road and get along with Krishan 
at least, you know, for now, let's, let's see how things go. But he decided to take the high road to co-parent is literally causing a tower moment in their household. Yep, three of swords, queen of swords. I, I told you, queen of swords is somebody sharp with their communication. This is somebody who is in their head and not in their heart. But three of swords, that's heartbreak. So because you are upset, because you are heartbroken, because you know that deep in his heart of all hearts, there is still something there for Krishan. She's become very callous, very cold, very bitter because she can't stop him from being there for his child and she shouldn't. And she knows deep in her heart that if he had it his way, they'd be sister wives. One of my candles is over here popping. So, ooh wee, the sister wife, that's, that's stirred an emotion because literally my candles are sizzling and popping. Queen of Wands. Three of Wands. So, that's taking action um, on ships that are coming in four of swords to lay a situation to rest page of pentacles um pentacles are children excuse me pages are children also page of pentacles represents an apology so it's like she wants him to apologize to her over this situation and how things went when he left it's almost like she's giving him an ultimatum this is now or never is me or nothing and i'm here to tell you if if you push that you you really 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 are you know writing a check with your mouth that your ass can't cash because no matter how he feels about you, Jaden. You don't want to push a man like him to make a pimp decision. The saying is always, you know, it's, holder to, it's colder than a hooker's heart. But the only thing colder than a hooker's heart <laughs> is a pimp's hand when you can't put nothing in his wallet. And like it or not, Krishan butters everybody's bread. Now I'm going to do a few more cards and I'm going to tap out of this energy. Um, if she just making an idle threat is this just idle energy or is she really contemplating you know moving on because i don't i don't see Jaden moving on this is this feels more like pouting to me but let's see is she considering moving on the magician we just saw this you know, peeking out the deck. Ace of Cups. Let's see. So that was the Three of Wands. Yeah, opportunities over here. Three of Swords. So Magician is someone who can manifest or manipulate or manipulate. Um, how do I say this? They can manifest or manipulate or they can manifest through manipulation. And then boom, three of swords after the ace of cups. So it's like, if you want to test him to see how deep is his love, how deep is his devotion, is either her or me, is our family or nothing. I'm going to tell you right now, 
It's going to lead to heartbreak. And this is going to be you right here, nine of swords. No rest for the wicked, no rest for the weary. Don't, don't push that. That's a hard line. Don't push that. Knight of Wands, Five of Cups. You can see the Knight of the Knight of Wands is someone who's always here for the short time, not the long time. Okay. And this is really the bigger picture here. Unrequited offer, Knight of Wands. It's it's not that Krishan is your problem because this falls under the, the devil in reverse, which means coming out of toxic energy. You want him to come out of this player's energy and devote himself to you and your family. But he's in this Knight of Wands energy, and that's that, you know, that Tupac I get around. Only got one night in town. Baby doll, are you down? I get around. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. Okay? Let the, <laughs> let the wand be your guide. He's guided by that big D energy. This is a person who's hypersexual. He... He's addicted to the experiences. That's also something that could come out of spiritual manipulation as well. All I could tell you is to pray that God cleanses him from this energy so that he can be satisfied because somebody who's not satisfied is like a ravenous wolf. They can never get enough. They can never get full. You can never do enough. There will always be somebody else. Hell, he said it to Krishan. I'm going to always be a cheater. Yeah. See this? Knight of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords. Now, it's like, you know, um, everybody's concerned about where to go now with businesses, finances, what ventures to go off into because things aren't moving the same. This is stressing people out. Also, um, career-wise for her, it's like there's moderate strides being made, but there's no real motion, no real traction. And even that is causing some type of anxiety because she wants her career to just take off. She wants to be able to be out there and pretty much be a household name like Chris Sean, but it takes work. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of ambition. And, you know, once you get out there, you got to be willing to either have the babies on the road with you or be able to leave the babies and go on the road. And, you know, if you're with your children every day, that's hard. King of Swords. Now, we've already got the Queen of Swords that came out. Five of Swords. So... King of Swords is someone that's very analytical in their head. I said what I said. This is not someone that gets caught up, you know, in emotions and you can just pull their heartstrings like that. And that falls under this five of swords, which means, you know, he came through and just laid it flat. Like this is what it is and this is what it's going to be. Now you could talk that shit over there, but I'm still going to leave. Nine of Wands. Yeah. So Six of Swords. That's somebody leaving victoriously. He went on about his business. And here she is hurt. The wounded warrior. Here you are hurt with your feelings hurt again. And Tower, bottom of the deck to the Four of, the four of Wands. She feels like this is a tower to her family. Mm-mm.
Eight of Wands. Remember I said things are not moving as swiftly as possible. It's in reverse. It's like things are actually, instead of moving forward like she wants it to, it's like things are falling apart. And it's the energy when he switched up on her for Krishan the first time. It feels like it's, it's starting all over again. Um, Eight of Swords. Now, in the upright, this is somebody being trapped, bound. But, you know, reverse, this is a catch and release. This is somebody feeling like they're being let go. The hermit. But it's in reverse. This is somebody coming out their shell. Caterpillar to a butterfly. It's a transformation. Um, I'm... I'm channeling to me a stranger in my house what's the 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 um chorus there's a stranger in my house took a while to figure out there's no way you can be who you say you are you gotta be someone else because he wouldn't hit me like this wow he wouldn't treat me like you do he would adore me he wouldn't ignore me it's a lot going on in their house, y'all. One thing about it, love is not supposed to hurt. If you're in a situation where love hurts, that's not love. That's toxic. It's chaotic. It's karmic. And I, I don't wish that type of energy on anybody. Yes, marriage and relationships are work, but you ain't supposed to feel like you're on a chain gang working. So, see. Okay, ooh. See this? Organization and jealousy. So it's like he's trying to get things together. He's trying to, you know, put together a parenting schedule and see how he can do what he needs to do for the new addition to his bloodline. And it's it's bringing chaos. But not from Krishan. Hmm. Marionette. So this is like a puppet on the string. But in reverse, this is somebody who's no longer going along to get along. So yeah, I I, I can understand the anxiety because it feels like, you know, the traumatic time when he switched up on her when she was pregnant with her baby and he pushed her out for Krishan. So let's tap in to blue face energy right quick. Yeah, <laughs> I would have the blue deck on the table. Let's, let's see what the energy is around blue. Cause we know that he went to Baltimore. He went to see his son as he should. This candle over here is popping again. Show me the energy around blue now that he's gone to see Krishan Jr. Mm, wait a minute, wait a minute. The whole deck got to jump in. Five of Wands. Now this is physical conflict, okay? I hope ain't nobody putting hands on nobody. Um, if this is not a card of physicality, this is just, you know, saying point blank, he's up against a lot. He's fighting against a lot of different energies. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles. Now that's... 
Mm. That's not a good combination to see the five of wands and the six of pentacles behind it. That's like someone being willing to strong arm somebody over money. Unearned income. Now, I'm not saying that this is what's going on. But that's what that combination of cards feels like. Tell me more. Two of coins, four of swords. So this is like juggling to bring something to a rest. So he wants to bring the fighting to an end. This is what he's considering. He's trying to figure out how should they cope with each other without, you know, fighting, without you know, the actual violence and the going back and forth and finding a way to deal with each other. Listen, an ace is an ace. Gotta call an ace an ace and a spade a spade. Now, we just saw in Jaden's cards this knight of coins. Krishan. I'm going to need you to have some common sense, baby. Because this Knight of Coins ain't coming out over and over for no reason. And that combination at the beginning of blue face cards spoke volumes. Money is moving slow. As you can see, this tribe man is riding a cow. What do cows do? What does a bull do? Until something jumps off, they move at a snail's pace so he could be orchestrating conflict soon because it would bring abundance peace is not gonna make but so much money because him and her are not in the same household co-parenting where they can make a show together so she's going to have to be very careful with how she deals with him and how she allows him in her energy. Three of Wands. This is the card of, you know, your ships coming in or the opportunist. This is somebody climbing the ladder to get to the next opportunity. Seven of Wands. See this? This couple right here, the four of wands, and then you got the seven of wands here that came out. This is being defensive in this union. So he knows that he had to take this opportunity because him being involved with his baby and co-parenting with Krishan is going to be lucrative and it allows him to be able to be in his son's life and to be a parent. So really it's a win-win, but he has to defend this or be defensive within the union that he has at home. I don't think she sees the bigger picture the way that he sees it. What is this? Not, I just saw something in reverse and I don't even do my cards in reverse. Wait a minute. Now, I'm going to correct these. I'm going to correct these and put these in the deck upright, but I'm still going to acknowledge this. King of Coins in reverse. The World in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Coins in reverse. Page of wands in reverse that's not by chance because i promise y'all i always have all my cards in the upright so page of wands is new opportunities and new actions to come and also this is like new opportunities coming through this baby but in reverse that's blocked right page of coins once again that is new financial opportunities that are to arise out of once again this baby 
and an apology that needs to be given because Page of Coins is coming also to give an apology. That's in reverse. Page of Swords in the upright is the card of watching and surveillance. In a reverse, that's gang stalking. The end of a cycle is the world in the upright. In the reverse, that's a new beginning out of chaos and turmoil. That's some shit you should have let go of anyway. King of Coins in the upright is someone that's rooted and grounded and financially sound. In reverse, like Tasha K say, I ain't got it. So, you see this up under that? When it finally went back upright, seven of cups. That's considering your options, having multiple opportunities, temperance. Balance through a new beginning. Honey, listen. If run, bitch, run was a spread of cards, that's what I just read. And I know she still has love for him, and I know this is the father of her child. But she's going to have to pray for strength. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand that you have abundant energy. So you're a walking money bag. You a lick. So you got to be careful who comes in your energy. And I'm not even in Krishan's part of the reading yet. Four of Wands. Card of engagement and stability. Stay strong. Because right now, he on some of the pimp of butterfly shit. What's that song? Ray Ray, tell them what they want to hear. He going to tell you what, he, what you want to hear to get what he needs from you. He needs the interaction he needs the attention he even needs the drama because it all brings revenue page of coins okay I, I just turn these around in my deck this is an apology this is you know somebody wanting stability, somebody apologizing. This is somebody um, talking about possible marriage and commitment. If not marriage, this is like partnership, um, working together. He could be trying to get her to merge their brands together. All three of my candles are jumping right now. Actually, I got four. They're all jumping right now. I don't know if he's talking about partnership or management. Queen of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a very loving woman, but she's also someone who's very not just nurturing, very perceptive. Out of all the queens in the deck, this would be the one with heightened intuition. This would be the psychic queen. At the bottom of the deck, uh, we got five of swords, three of swords. So this is like harsh communication and heartbreak. But I feel like this is because Krishan ain't the same Krishan no more. She's not moldable like she used to be. You can't talk to her the way you used to talk to her and it's not that she's completely over him it's just you know once she got in mommy mode a light bulb went off something clicked and she's thinking of a bigger picture that she's never thought of before You see this? The devil and temperance. 
This is toxic energy and it's falling under this fight card, this five of wands. Temperance, balance through a new beginning. That's literally wash, rinse, repeat. You get back into this cycle, it's going to be wash, rinse, repeat. It's going to be the same thing all over again, if not worse. Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. That's heartbreak and the wounded warrior. I keep getting the energy of physical violence, and I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong so bad. I'm going to refrain from saying what I'm channeling because I'm literally seeing it. I'm, I'm just going to pray. Page of Swords. So he knows that he's being watched, but... You know, Page of Swords falling on the Four of Wands, that's like marriage, commitment, engagement. So this is like his other half is watching him closely. Yeah, baby mama, Empress, watching him closely. He knows Jaden is keeping tabs on him. Because here it is. You're supposed to be out here apologizing and making right with Krishan, but this is like bread crumbing your lover. But as you can see, this is beauty and the beast. No one can tame this beast like Krishan. And somewhere deep down in the back of Stewie's heart, mind, and soul. She knows that. Krishan is just that. She's that deep into his energy. It's that that itch that he just can't scratch. No matter how much he tries to scratch that itch. He'll never be able to completely get over the energy that she brought. He always talks about how he made Krishan, but the proof is in the pudding because if you made her, it's nothing to keep on making someone like her. Now Krishan has her own motion. And for them to keep doing what they need to do, they got to ride her wave to have motion. Yeah, the high priestess and the six of swords. So once again, like I said, Krishan may not show this side of herself, but she's highly intuitive. And once she gets some peace of mind, she really gets some rest. Things are going to be revealed to her like never before. You see this woman leaving in the middle of the night with her baby, like leaving rocky waters to go to calmer waters. It really was like a spiritual download that told her, get up and go. Don't look back. And as you can see, the Queen of Cups, like I said, the psychic queen, right up under it, the high priestess, and then the six of swords it was like she just got a download from her angels that said the time is now go and when she decided to up and leave it became a hangman and mind you this is this is blue face part of the reading this became a hangman he never expected her to leave with the upper hand you got to realize this was a woman whose money was tied up she was very pregnant. Um, 
her family is on the other side of the United States. She had every odd that you could think of stacked against her. And she turned up and bossed up and went on tour and was everywhere with everybody pregnant. It was almost unheard of. It, it was something to where it was like, you know how they tell you, you know, pay attention and listen to your angels. Sometimes God won't tell you what's about to happen. You just got to trust in them and go. Soon as she left, look at how all the opportunities opened up. Okay. So we're going to do the magic of Marvel oracles. Do a couple of oracles. So we got Wolverine. When I'm alone, I'm in great company. Nightcrawler. In my eyes, I'm beautiful. Rogue and Gambit. Let love in. <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all? Listen. Bottom of the deck. Lock jaw. A good guard dog is hard to find. See, Krishan didn't got by herself and found peace of mind. She's finding the ability to love herself. And he's out there, you know, trying to assess this energy. This is new to him. He's never seen this side of her where he didn't have control. And he wants her to feel like, you know, he, she needs him. She needs his protection. She needs his energy for her to be able to move around and do what she needs to do successfully. And I'm, I'm here to say that ain't so. So I'm going to use, because I'm not going to give the baby a, a full reading. I'm going to just ask him a couple of questions at the end of Krishan's uh, reading. But I'm going to use the DC Tarot deck for Krishan because y'all, you know, we know she athletic. She a superhero at this point. All the stuff she done been through, baby. Krishan Rock, let's, let's see the energy of the last couple of weeks before you had the baby up until now. The sun, you see that? Happiest card in the tarot. This is one of the best things that could have ever happened to her. Like, even through the tears... She feels blessed. Nine of Pentacles. Is, that's the independent woman. I got it all and I got it on my own. And see, once you get to that point where you get it out the mud, there's nothing anybody can tell you. No dream nobody can sell you. Because you know if you can make it through the trenches, if you can stump through the mud, you can make it through anything, right? page of wands so this is like messages of new opportunities coming new things on the way and you know she has anxiety about these things but i feel like it's it's a anxiety because it's uncharted territory these are situations where it's like she's being offered big things or bigger things that than she's accustomed to and she she's like well damn you know, I always wanted to do something like this, but, you know, wow, I, I didn't think that this would happen this way. Or, you know, I didn't even think that I was in that lane, right? Nine 
Knight of Pentacles. So, like I said, she left behind a lot. So it's like, it's, it's steady movement. She's building her money up. It's steady movement. Five of Wands. That see conflict. Queen of Wands. She's taking action. She's she's literally not going to let anybody get in the way of her opportunity. See, she's used to fighting with her hands. Now she's finding new ways to fight. King of Cups. Now, King of Cups is someone who's very deep in their emotions. They feel things in a way that you would never think they feel things, but they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. They don't communicate how they feel. So, Ten of Swords. So, this is more so dealing with Blue's energy. He feels very deeply about how things turned out and oddly enough he feels betrayed like what he was saying about how he feels like she took advantage of him and she used him he really does feel betrayed i'm sorry y'all i mean to laugh you know let's keep it moving after everything that he's done to both these women okay because let's be honest he can put both of them through a lot he feels betrayed. Wow. The moon. Okay, that's like secret energy. There's there's a hand that's not seen here when you see the moon. What what's the hand that's not seen here? Three of Wands and Strength. So this is like, you know, holding it together as new opportunities come through. Because that's ships coming in. So there's opportunities coming in that Krishan can't even speak on at the moment. But Miss Mama's is ink and deals. Two of Wands, choices need to be made. Knight of Swords, about um, messages going back and forth and how to communicate Queen of Pentacles. So somebody is dealing with her about her social media presence and what to say and what not to say and things that would run away potential brand deals and endorsements. The magician, this magician keeps coming out. King of Pentacles. Three of Cups. That's a third party card. Also the card of turning up. And the Hierophant. Okay, so the Magician is the card, once again, of the Manifester. Also the Manipulator. Someone who also can manifest through alchemy. Um, funny enough, look at this. This King of Pentacles is standing in a pentagram. So that's someone who can manipulate a situation or a outcome for the greater good. Someone who can cause a turn up, you know, a third party situation. And then the Hierophant, this is the industry watching because that's judge, jury, adjudicator. And this is also, you know, them peoples, right? That society. So the industry is watching as well because they know this situation is profitable. But like I said, someone's coaching her on how to move, how not to be manipulated for someone else's gain. And then at the bottom of the deck, you got the Seven of Swords. That's very sneaky, conniving, manipulative energy. So, you know, with, with that coming behind the moon, there's a lot of trickery going around in this situation, period. And, and let's, let's, you know, call it a buck. 
they work in social media. Um, the one thing about media is spin. The art of spin is to spin a situation and whoever's able to spin it the best is the one that has the best outcome in the media. Two of Wands. Choice has to be made. Queen of Pentacles. Listen. Just talked about all these cards. A choice has to be made for her to level up and have, you know, to level up, be grounded, and have financial stability. I just looked at all of these cards in the deck. I just talked about these. Um, this is about what I just said, her communication, you know, not being affected by every little message that comes to her. Stop letting this person get your goat and use you and cause you to get emotional and turn up because every moment like that is liquid gold for somebody else because this is their ships coming in. So she's being told to stop letting... You know, uh, Blueface, Carlissa, and whoever else get her in her emotions on social media because this is how they would make money. Judgment. Now, <laughs> judgment is also a court card, which means that don't be surprised if there are legal proceedings that have to do with communication in general, especially in social media. Mm -mm. Seven of Pentacles, sowing seeds for a bigger harvest. It falls under the sun. Like I said, she has opportunities coming she has to be wise with her opportunity six of cups listen tears may come at night but joy comes in the morning what is what comes in the morning the sun the sun leads this this is all moving forward towards victory happy times things looking up everything for Krishan from this point out is really really bright but she has to make the right decisions she has to stay out of this relationship and just do what needs to be done for co-parenting that's it and that's all now it's her decision to do whatever it is she pleases but this is what i'm seeing in the energy hmm. yeah and this this was coming out crossing trying seven of swords sneaky energy under the page of wands um, new opportunities, high priestess. All I can say is like right now she can't take, you know, she can't really soak in the tub or anything like that. Cause she just had a baby, not even full two weeks ago, but high priestess. Page of swords, somebody who's watching. Two of swords. Somebody who is on the verge of being cut off or feels like they're some, about to be cut off. Um, Krishan is in the right place for what she needs protection from. Stay in church, stay vigilant, stay prayed up, stay anointed, keep your vibrations high, keep them elevated because somebody is sowing really dark negative energies and, and sowing all types of negative seeds but it's nothing that the prayer of god can't circumvent so i'm gonna get out of that because this isn't a personal reading and i can get very very particular about that because one thing honey for certain two things are for sure when it comes to that kind of energy i'm your reader i can pinpoint <laughs> down to the damn eye of a needle was being done but this ain't this ain't that we're not doing that type of reading so let's 
you know, just for shits and giggles, because we're about to wrap this up. This reading been long enough. oracles for her and then we're gonna ask two little questions for the baby and we out all righty birthplace of dreams i don't know who the hell made these cards but this is illiterate as shit that's not how you spell dreams but all right i'm gonna let them rock um birthplace of dreams pursuit of goals beliefs and possibilities y'all don't say nothing to me look at that what does that spell to you <laughs> but the good thing is she is what's the movie feel the dream she is in a place in her life where as long as she is in a high vibration, she can manifest all types of beautiful things. The sky is, is it not even, let me, how do I say this? The sky is not even the limit. And she's going to find out that the things that she thought were the things that she wanted to do when she grows up actually are going to pale in comparison to the things that she ends up doing. river flowing waters river banks views so this is you know one thing about water water keeps going regardless and this is her abundance flowing in you see how lush and green the land is when i just said feel the dream she's literally going into the promised land of possibilities and capabilities laboratory scientific research experiments analysis innovation and invention so this is her you know going into that mode where she's going from the caterpillar into the butterfly she is creating the new krishan all old things have to fall away. All new things are going to literally blossom. So this is beautiful energy for her. Bottom of the deck is nightclub, dance floor, neon lights. So life is a party. She's she's going to, once she heals, she's going to do even more performances and club dates. Like she's going to be a hot commodity. I mean, she already was pregnant. And... <laughs> I had no idea that that card was going to be misspelled like that, but don't even matter because we got the damn message. All righty. So that's, that's beautiful. Now let's get to the shenanigans and then we can be done. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So what's the energy with the baby? Between Krishan and the baby. What's the energy with the baby? Six of Wands, Knight of Swords. So, moving forward towards victory, Knight of Swords is communication. So, you know, they talk on the regular. They communicate. And it seems like this is something that came about swiftly. Um, Could have just been out, you know, kicking it somewhere or ran across each other, you know, for work or something. But it, it feels like this blue face situation is going to force them into a situation of actually getting closer, getting to know each other. Not to say that they're dating, but actually having more communication. Because you got to think about it. It's every time you look up, somebody's being mentioned and... It's like your baby daddy is always in his feelings and it always seems to lead back to this person that causes more and more communication. Are there any feelings between these two? A 
Listen, you see that? King of Cups. He'll never say to us publicly how he feels, but he 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 got a little something going on for Krishan. He crushing on her somewhat. But something got laid to rest. Don't mean it is over. Got laid to rest. What is this? Krishan on go. You know, she's worried about building her empire. And all she can focus on right now is making money moves. It's like, you know, I'm coming out of this situation with my money kind of stagnant. I got to boss up and get my money. I can't be worried or concerned with talking to anybody right now. What is this? So it, it feels more so like that's two of swords, three of swords at the bottom of the deck. It feels more like if Krishan said it was a go, it, it's something that could possibly be explored. But it's it's a it's a good friendship. It's a it's a cool understanding, and this is somebody that, you know, if she ever needed somebody to talk to, they can kick it and communicate and understand each other, on you know a a, a mellow type vibe. And it's is no pressure. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And this has been my reading on Jaden Alexis, Blueface, Krishan Rock, and the baby. Just wow. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call this one the house that Krishan built. Sounds and feels appropriate to me. Well, with that being said, y'all have a good night and this reading is adjourned.